Open loop and closed loop systems are concepts used in control theory and engineering to describe different types of control systems. Open loop system. An open loop system is a type of control system where the output is not used to adjust the input. In other words, the system's behavior is determined solely by the input and the internal dynamics of the system. There is no mechanism for the system to monitor or regulate its own output. Open loop systems are often simple and can be effective in cases where the relationship between input and output is well understood and constant. Example, a toaster is an open loop system. You set the desired level of toasting, and the toaster operates for a fixed amount of time, regardless of whether the toast is perfectly done or not. Advantages, simplicity and cost effectiveness. Suitable for well-defined processes where input-output relationships are constant. Disadvantages. Lack of adaptability to changes or disturbances. Inaccuracy when external conditions or variables change. Closed-loop system. A closed-loop, also known as feedback, system is a control system that uses feedback from the output to adjust the input in order to achieve a desired outcome or maintain a certain condition. The feedback loop continuously monitors the system's output and compares it to the desired reference value, making adjustments as needed. Closed-loop systems are more sophisticated and adaptable, as they can respond to changes and disturbances in real time. Example, a thermostat-controlled heating system is a closed-loop system. The thermostat measures the current temperature, compares it to the desired temperature, and adjusts the heating accordingly to maintain the desired temperature. Advantages. Improved accuracy and stability in the presence of disturbances or changes. Adaptability to varying conditions. Disadvantages. Complexity and potentially higher cost. Design and tuning of feedback loops can be challenging. In summary, open loop systems are simpler but less adaptable while closed-loop systems are more complex, but offer better control and responsiveness to changing conditions. The choice between these two types of systems depends on the specific application, requirements, and desired level of control.